hello everyone and welcome back to my second channel so for today's video i am going to be doing a little get ready with me i'm going to be doing my makeup and then i'll show you guys outfit jewelry hair all of that good stuff currently i am wearing my outfit but i'm going to show you guys all that after with the jewelry and then my hair i did straighten it but i think i want to do those cute little braids that i showed you guys in my favorite hairstyles so i'll do that as well but i think we'll start off with makeup now for today's look i am going to be going on a little date tonight so i want my makeup to look really really gorgeous so i'm going to be doing basically what i did for the clothing line photo shoot and showing you guys those products so if you are interested in that then stay tuned next up for my base i'm just going to be using the Michelot foundation and the rare beauty concealer and i just mix these together to get a better color but i'm just going to be spot concealing okay so nothing too thick or um cakey right now especially because i live in ontario the humidity is disgusting so i'm just going to be spot concealing nothing too special okay so base is done with the concealer that's kind of the most boring part now these are the stars of the show also sorry if you can hear my little brother screaming it's the morning he's getting up um but anyways these are the stars of the show so these are the charlotte tilbury um, beauty wand. So I use the pink gasm for the blush and the spotlight for the highlight. Now these look so, so good in photos. If you have a photo shoot, if you have a date, if you have anything like that, you want to look extra glowy, luminous, anything like that for it, these are amazing. I will say though that you do not get a lot of product in these and they are just super expensive. So I use them sparingly. I mean, I only use them for kind of special occasions or if I have something um, that I want to look like extra, you know, whatever for. So I did it for my photo shoot. And then obviously today I have a date. So I'm doing a bit extra, but this just, oh, it just looks so gorgeous. I blended it with a beauty blender. I also never use a beauty blender. So this is the only time I use my beauty blender too. I just do about three dots on either side and a dot on my nose and it just is so gorgeous I just love it you can see it does have a glow like right now on my nose just because the lighting it almost looks like it's a, sp a patch but it is glowy I'll show you guys in the sunlight um, after all the makeup done it's just right now it's kind of easier to do it here on my desk and then I use the spotlight one just on my cheekbones. Just like, oh, I think I need a bit more. Squeeze, 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 hello. There we go. Just like so, and I'll bring it up onto my temples a little bit. And then I'll also bring this down my nose. And then if you want, you can even bring it here a little. This stuff is just, it's so good. It melts into the skin and it just I mean, it doesn't necessarily look natural because obviously it is like a sparkly highlighter, but it just melts into the skin beautifully and it doesn't look too cakey or anything like that. And I mean, you guys know me, I'm not like a makeup expert or anything. I am just, you know, a girl who does her makeup every day. I'm not like um, a makeup artist or anything and I don't really experiment with too many products. So this is easy to use if you are like a beginner or someone who doesn't really have like you know a lot of makeup skill i could say because i feel like this is a very beginner friendly product um for example the rare beauty liquid blushes they are amazing and they're super pigmented but i don't think they're necessarily beginner friendly because again for someone who doesn't have a lot of makeup skill like me it takes a lot of blending, figuring out how much of the product to use to make it work good for me. And that one was just too much of a hassle. I was over, always over applying the product. It was just, it's just way too pigmented for me on a daily basis. Whereas like something like this is way easier for me to use. So it is the hot, hot summertime. So I do like to set my liquid products with powder products. So first I will set my blush with the Too Faced 
sparkling bellini blush i'm not sure if this is still available on the site or not um on sephora or too faced because i know that their sweethearts bronzer is not available so i'm not sure if they're discontinuing that i kind of understand in the sense because the packaging is so bulky and they have their um chocolate soleil bronzers now but still i do quite like these products so i'm gonna treasure them while i have them and i'm just putting this kind of on my forehead just a little bit like this and then i'll kind of bring it down but i also did that highlighter so i mostly just put it on my forehead and then bring it down a little bit just like so it almost looks crazy in this in this lighting it looks like really muddy but i promise you once i show you guys in front of the sunlight it's gonna look a lot better it's just because the lighting in here, the windows are to this way, so it's not as nice. So for brows, I use the Kosas brow pencil and I'll just brush them through. And then if I am feeling a little bit extra like today, I'll just take the other side and lightly kind of fill in the tail. I'll just set it with a clear brow gel. You can hear my brother screaming, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> he knows I'm filming now, so he's like purposely trying to be extra <laughs> loud. But anyways. Um, I just set it with a clear brow gel. For highlighter, I use the Makeup by Mario highlighter in quartz. This stuff is just gorgeous. It's literally pure sparkles. I love it so much. And if you're looking for something that just literally looks like someone poured sparkles on your face, that is this look. Um, this stuff is amazing. And like every one I put it on, they're like, oh my gosh, this stuff is so good. So it's a fan favorite. Okay, so my lash extensions are on their last legs, as you can see. I get them done tomorrow as of when I'm filming this. Um, so normally I have better lashes, but if you want a good mascara, I really like the Merit one. I'll use this one on my lower lashes if I do feel like that. But I'm probably not going to today just because it's so humid. Um, but I am going to apply the NYX Epic Wear Liner in Pure White on my waterline or just poke myself in the eye, ow. Um, but I really like doing a white on the waterline. It just kind of brightens up my eyes. I know some people don't like it. Some people think it's too harsh, but I mean, I, I quite like it on myself. You can get nude um, waterline pencils, so it's a little bit less harsh, but still kind of brightens up the eye. But this is, I think, did I do white eyeliner for the photo shoot? I don't know if I did white eyeliner for the photo shoot, but I did do lower mascara. So, you know, we're kind of trading one for the other for today. Okay, and then for lips, last but not least, I used the Essence Soft and Precise Lip Pencil in the shade Trumi. You guys will know that this is my swear, swear by, love by lip pencil. I love the Essence lip liners. They are amazing. And they are like $2 you can't really go wrong not too um soft like they don't like i find that the for example the um urban decay ones are way too soft for me for my liking i mean i still have the one and i use it because i purchased it but i just like the feel of these ones better they are just a little bit stiffer and then lastly to finish off the look i use the Kozas lipstick in the shade rose water this is a perfect my lips but better shade and it matches really, really well with the Essence Lips Lip Liner in Trumi. So this was basically my photo shoot day look, except I did lower mascara instead of the white eyeliner. And yeah, that's basically, that's basically it. And I had better eyelash extensions. So now I'm going to do a couple little braids in my hair. Added a couple little braids. If you want to know how to do these, go watch my um, favorite hairstyles video. These are elastic free braids that will stay in your hair. So that's a nice little detail. Now we can get on to the jewelry and outfit. I was sent some gorgeous pieces from Eclaté. Eclaté very French and elegant. They have such gorgeous pieces. So I will have everything linked in the description box if you want to go and check them out. I highly recommend it. And they do have different like collections slash categories. For example, like shower proof jewelry is on there if you are someone who does shower in your jewelry like me. So first up, I have this beautiful 
pearl necklace which has little gold rectangular and circular bead accents so pretty and it'll look so cute with the full outfit once i show you guys so we have the necklace and then i did a whole little pearl set so then i have this pearl bracelet okay so here is the gorgeous pearl bracelet i like how they added a little pearl at the end of the connector i might shorten this um just because it is a little bit big but because my long nails i was struggling to put it on but it's not such a pretty set. We're not done though. They also sent this adorable little jewelry box for traveling. How cute is that? And then we have the last items in here. So then I have a pearl ring, which just matches everything. Perfectly a little pearl moment today. And then I have these gorgeous earrings and pearl cuff which i'm so excited to show you guys so this is a magnetic pearl earring cuff this is so cool so because it's magnetic as you can see it easily connects to your ear and stays put oh my goodness like isn't that so cool all my other cuffs fall out so easy and this one because the magnet is so strong it stays so nice so I love this and I think it's such a good contrast to my double helix. And then last but certainly not least, I received these gorgeous threader earrings with little stars. I love threader earrings. There was actually a girl in my high school class that only wore threader earrings and I thought she was like the coolest person ever. So ever since I've been obsessed with threaders. So these ones have three little stars and they'll bring out the gold in the necklace, I think. Okay, and then there we have the little threader earrings. Like, look how pretty my ears are. I love all the piercings that I have now. I'm so happy. And I can't wait until these ones are like better healed and I can switch out them for gold earrings. But right now they're still in the healing process. But definitely check out Eclaté. They have such stunning pieces. I mean, right now I feel like a thousand bucks i feel like i'm ready to go on a date okay so here is the final outfit we have this little skirt, which i actually i think i got this from forever 21 um and then this top is from victoria's secrets this is a nice little set and doesn't it look so beautiful with the little pearl um jewelry pieces like i love it how it brings out the white and everything oh so cute and then as you can see here we have the really pretty earrings with the pearl cuff just gorgeous and i think the little braids were a good touch as well especially for summer and i'm just gonna wear i think nude um sandals because that's basically all i have okay and here is the makeup and a little bit better lighting with the sun i think that it is so glowy and definitely a great option if you're doing a photo shoot or if you have a special occasion or something like that. I mean, you definitely could wear this every day though if you did want a glowy look every day. I just don't because those Charlotte Tilbury items are so <laughs> expensive. But yeah, this is the look. I'm ready to go on my date. Sorry, my hands are so shaky, but I'm ready to go on my date. I hope you all have an amazing rest of your day and I'll see you all in my next video and be sure to check out Eclaté in the description box. Love you all so much. Bye!